In today's video, we are going to look at LED lights, light emitting diodes, the new energy efficient, awesome lights that you can get to install in houses and buildings. And we're gonna talk about what's good about them and some things to look out for when you're considering either buying or installing them for maybe yourself or maybe a client. Let's have a look. So I have in front of me a range of different light fittings. There's nothing special about them, except this one is an LED. Now in Australia, which is where I'm currently uh, working, all light fittings are changing to LEDs. In fact, you can't buy any other type of light fittings anymore. They are all LED globes. You can't get halogens, you can't get incandescents. And I would dare say that's the case mostly around the world. So let's have a look at the differences and some of the things that we need to keep in mind when we're looking at installing LED lights for people. So firstly, I'm going to show you just a standard downlight. These are the recessed lights that get put into the ceiling. They sit flush with the ceiling and that is the main part of the fitting. It has a globe that sits into this gimbal, like so. Get that right. This one's being a little bit awkward. There we go, that's it. Sits in like that, and then goes in, clips in to our fitting, and then the other end of the globe gets connected to one of these, which is a transformer. And that transformer then in turn gets wired either directly into the cabling in the roof for the lighting, or it could also get connected into a plug like this, which would then be connected into a plug base, which is connected to the wiring of the building. That is how we used to do all of our recessed lights, and most lights would have some sort of similar type operation. However, now things are changing and we're getting LED lights. And LED lights look very much the same, but there's one really, really important difference. There we go. This is an LED downlight or recess light. The big difference here is this is an all-in-one unit. If you notice, the other one I had, when the globe was no longer working, I could take it out. There it is there. Now, incidentally, this is also an LED globe. As I mentioned, you can't get halogens anymore in Australia. So this is an LED globe, and if I needed to change it, I could simply go out, buy another globe, plug it in, away I go. But for the consumer, and this is something as electricians we need to advise our customers on, all of the new light fittings coming out are all in one units, or a lot of them anyway, which means they are sealed. So when we install a light like this, then we have to install a plug base if there wasn't one there already. And that sometimes comes a bit of a shock to people because you come along and they say, oh, we want all these downlights changed, please, you know, and you start taking them apart and realize they're all hardwired in. So suddenly you have an extra cost per light fitting because you need one of these. If you already have that plug in there, then that's great. You know, you can swap them over fairly quickly, but a lot of times you can find that's not the case. Now, the problem with the all-in-one light fittings is that when the globe or the LED stops working, then you have to toss it away. There's no replacing the globes. You have to take this out, unplug it, and away you go. Now, for a downlight, that's not a big problem. Most consumers, most people can do that by themselves. If it's been plugged into a plug base, they can do that themselves. Where the problem kicks in is when you get something like this. Now this is a just a standard life fitting. This is, you know, you can put a normal globe into this. When I say normal, it's based on the old incandescent globes, which you can buy LED globes to fit, and you can sort the globe in and out, that's great. But you can buy the identical light fitting in LED, but it's a sealed unit like this one and it doesn't have the plug on it. So it still gets hardwired in. 
Now, the problem with that is that this light fitting might only last a couple of years, and then when the homeowner or the business owner wants to change it, they have to change the entire light fitting. And what's even worse is if a potential customer decides, and let's say, let's say take for example a home, because uh, this is where you're gonna find this problem the most. In a home, maybe they have a dining room and they have two lights in their dining room and they've gone out and bought these really, really nice lights, they've hung them up, you've installed them, you've wired them up, fantastic. Three years later, the LED fails. You come back and you say, okay, no problem. One's still working, the other one's not. But they no longer make that light fitting anymore. What do you do? You have to take the light fitting down and put something else up. You can't just change a globe. So that presents a problem because then the homeowner who originally thought they were simply just going to you know, call you up and get another light put on, suddenly now they're faced with the fact they have to have two lights replaced and they may not be terribly happy with that. So when I'm out there working, I'm always advising people when you are installing lights, if you can, if possible, buy the lights, you can change the globes. So you can go and get an LED globe and just swap them in and out. It's going to make your life better in the long run. The down lights, it doesn't matter so much because they look the same. You know, I mean, this one's white, the other one's silver, but you can buy the same colors. So it doesn't matter too much because they are the same recessed light, whether you swap that out or not. But ornate light fittings, these sorts of things, chandeliers, all those other sorts of fancy light fittings that they sell in the light shops, I advise people to try to make sure they get one they can change the globe. Otherwise, they're just gonna call you back again and they might get a little bit cranky with that. They definitely get cranky when they see the bill. That is really all there is to it as far as advice on LED lights. Um, oh, one more thing, I almost forgot. There are LEDs that change color, obviously. You can get all sorts of colors, red, blue, green, whatever. But for most light fittings, there'll be three colors. There'll be a warm white, maybe a daylight, maybe a bright white. And they may be called something slightly different depending on where you are. But essentially what happens is you have the warm white mimics the old incandescent light, that yellowy type color. The bright white, will be that really, really white looking color that you see in a lot of shops and commercial buildings. And daylight will be a mixture between those two. Again, the names may be different depending on the light fittings you're using, but essentially it's the same idea. And the other thing you need to keep in mind too is that when you're choosing lights, in many years ago, we used to look at the wattage, and that's the size of the light clothes we would choose. If we wanted a brighter light, we'd get a higher wattage. Now, all the light fittings are now measured in lumens, which would be the correct way to do it anyway, because lumens is the measurement of light. Light is what we see, okay? Um, so the larger the number of lumens, then the brighter the LED is going to be. That's something also you need to advise people on. And that's really it to it. There's not, not a lot to do with LED lights other than that. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.